Kwa kawaida mshindi wa uchaguzi wa rais Marekani hubainika saa chache baada ya usiku wa manane. Uchaguzi mwaka huu ukiwa tofauti sana na chaguzi za hapo awali ambapo wapiga kura milioni mia moja walikuwa tayari wamepiga kura kabla ya siku ya uchaguzi. Ugumu ukitokea kwa kuwa baadhi ya majimbo yanaruhusiwa tu kisheria kuanza kuhesabu kura za awali baada ya kura za siku ya uchaguzi. Hali ambayo imesababisha kucheleweshwa kwa matokeo. Mapema leo mgombeaji wa rais wa chama cha Democratic Joe Biden aliwahutubia wafuasi wake katika jimbo la Delaware akiwataka kuwa watulivu akiwa na imani atashinda urais. We knew because of the unprecedented early vote and the mail-in vote that's going to take a while. We're going to have to be patient until we uh, the hard work of tallying votes is finished. And it ain't over till every vote is counted. Every ballot is counted. Na japo Rais Trump alijitokeza saa chache baadaye kueleza imani kuwa pia angeshinda, alionekana kutokuwa na raha akidai kuna njama ya wizi wa kura. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the US Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list. Kwa wakati huo Trump alikuwa kiongoza kwa majimbo kadhaa yaliyomuunga mkono mwaka 2016, mengine yao yakiwa sasa yamebadilika. Uchaguzi wa rais Marekani haufuati idadi ya kura kila mgombea anapata pekee, ila inafuata kura za baraza la majimbo, almaarufu Electoral College. Baraza hilo lina kura 538 kila jimbo limetengewa idadi fulani ya kura kulingana na idadi ya watu ambao pia huelekeza idadi ya wawakilishi katika bunge la kitaifa ili mgombea ashinde anahitaji zaidi ya kura 270 za baraza hilo ikiwa kura moja tu zaidi ya nusu kwa sasa kuna majimbo sita tata katika uchaguzi wa mwaka huu jimbo la Wisconsin lina kura kumi. lilimuunga mkono Trump mwaka 2016 lakini sasa Biden anaonekana kuongoza Jimbo la Michigan ambalo pia lilimuunga mkono Trump sasa likimwegemea Biden itapokuwa kwa idadi ndogo. Jimbo la Arizona ni lingine lenye kura 11 tayari limeonekana kuvuka na kumuunga mkono Biden. Majimbo mengine tata yaliyosalia ni pamoja na Georgia yenye kura 16 kwa sasa linamwegemea Trump pia jimbo la Pennsylvania linamwegemea Trump likiwa na kura 20 na ni lazima Trump ashinde humo ili kushinda uchaguzi. Japo Biden anaongoza kwa zaidi ya kura 238 kati ya 538 hakuna ambaye amefikisha idadi ya 270 kufikia sasa This is an embarrassment to our country We were getting ready to win this election frankly we did win this election We did win this election So our goal now is to ensure the integrity for the good of this nation this is a very big moment huenda ikachukua muda ikizingatiwa jimbo kama la Pennsylvania limeruhusiwa kuendelea na hesabu ya kura hadi ya dhuhuri ya siku ya Ijumaa Sam Kitukuruninga ya Citizen